Hello world, my croquettes! What is remote indicator control? Let's take a look at this example Vimos TT Go board and share meter. The indicator has a USB connector to which you can connect. Sipping out further in the electrical section. Divide for ADC to read battery voltage. So the shy indicator. It has a round body with indication and buttons and a movable stem, the movement of which is measured. The VMS board is built on a ESP32 microcontroller, has a converter and a battery charge controller. There is also an OLED display on the board. We connect the board to the meter via a homemade USB cable. We turn on the power and wait for the Wi-Fi connection to be established. The server is a laptop with a Mr. Robot access point. After connecting to the network, we check the data on the display and the meter. To do this, move the stem and compare the readings. The data on the board is a little late for sharp movements, since digital filtering of the results is used. Additionally, information about the voltage of the storage battery is given. Let's try to transfer the value to the laptop. Open the HTML file in a browser and scan the network for connected modules. We get a list of modules. This is the host and ESP32. We request to receive a name through the command. We request to receive data on the voltage of a storage battery. We get the movement of a stem. We get cyclical values after a time interval of 100 milliseconds. We see that the changes on the indicator are transferred to the computer. Also, the data is duplicated on the screen of the VMS board. Consider the electrical circuit. A non-standard USB cable with its own pinout is used to connect to the Shire indicator. Data and clock signals are sent to the VMS board. Resistors are also connected to it to read the battery voltage. And this capacitor will allow you to flash without using the boot button. Let's consider the software part. Used pins for external devices. External Wi-Fi network data and own name. Parameters for measurements. In the setup procedure, we initialize the debug terminal, ESP32 pins, OLED display, Wi-Fi modular, variables, functions for obtaining measured data and values from the battery. In an endless loop, we receive a client object and if data is available, send it to the debug terminal and then execute the appropriate command. Get name command. Send the name of a modular. Get voltage command. Set the value of a battery voltage. Get measure command. Send the value from the indicator, taking into account the zero mark. The set zero command is to set a new zero mark. Soft reset command. Programmatically reload the modular. CLK signal handler from the indicator. In this procedure, we read the data bits and accumulate them into an alternative one. After reading, we translate the data into the measurement format and cyclically accumulate them in an array. Pins for CLK data signals are configured as pool 2 plus power inputs. When setting up the Wi-Fi modular, we use the name and password of the network on the laptop. When searching in animation, the progress bar is used. After that, we start the server listening for data on port 80. Updating the data on the controller display is done separately. The function of receiving data from the indicator use digital filtering. First, the arithmetic mean of the measurements is calculated. When each type is compared with the mean of a given element, and if it is rejected, the element is discarded. The arithmetic mean is calculated again without taking into account the discarded element. In the update task, we get the indicator data and data from the battery. We form the 
strings for display and show them on the display. One ADC channel is used for battery voltage data. Since the voltage is supplied through a resistive divider, we take into account the division factor. Server on laptop is the browser and HTML, GS, CSS files. In the JavaScript file, we specify the command path and the prototype of a JSON object, with the help of which the data exchange is carried out. To make the search for modules in the network fast, a timeout handler was applied. To use data cyclically, the set interval function. In the tips, there is a video with a similar tasks, controlling the caliper and modulus in an autonomous Wi-Fi network. That's all, see you in the next video. Subscribe, my cricket.